Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're going to have a quick look at the Citizen Perpetual Chrono AT, reference AT4008-51E, and how to set it. So, this watch is radio controlled. It receives a daily update from a radio tower, but only in the locations indicated. So you can see the red hand on the feature dial is pointing to London, meaning the radio controlled functionality will work in the UK. It will also work in America, which is why you've got New York, Chicago, Denver and Los Angeles. The watch has a chronograph and an alarm, an ATM. This allows you to set an alternative time. So if you weren't in the United Kingdom or America, you could select ATM and put the time in manually. But let's say your watch hasn't got a radio signal, it's not been able to receive one, so you need to set the time manually. How do you do it? Well, let's get started. First of all, dials. This is a 24 hour clock. Are the big hands morning or afternoon? this dial tells you. Days of the week here, power reserve indicator here, and these dashes on this top right hand dial, are, that, that's your minute counter for your chronograph when you're in chronograph mode. Okay, how to set the time? Well, first of all, you need to activate the feature dial. You do that by pulling out the crown one click. Okay, and then turn in the crown, select your relevant state or city. So as you can see, Los Angeles, chronograph, alternative, Alarm, sorry, alternative time, London. That's what I need, I'm in the United Kingdom. So I've selected London. The crown's out one click, I've turned it, selected London. Now pull out the crown all the way, wait for the hands to settle. Okay, now you need to, first thing you need to do is tell the watch, have the clocks gone forward, yes or no? Is summertime on or off? As you can see here, the second hand is pointing to on, indicating summertime is on. SMT, summertime, or is it off? Well, it's telling me it's on. Actually, we're in wintertime, so clocks have gone back, we need to, turn summertime off. The way we do that is press the top button. Second hand goes to off, the watch goes back an hour. Summertime is now off. That's the first thing we do. Pull out the crown all the way on your selected city and turn summertime on or off by pressing the top button. So the crown is still out all the way. Next thing you do is you press the bottom push button and the big hands wiggle indicating the time can be set. Turn the crown, set the time. You can go clockwise or anti-clockwise, but you might think this will take you all day. It's okay. Sweep your finger down the crown. It takes off on its own. Keep your eye on the 24 hour clock. So you can set this to morning or afternoon. As you can see, as the hands move, the 24 hour dial moves along with it. So you can see we're at midnight at the moment, coming to one in the morning, two in the morning. Okay. So to stop it, just turn the crown. Don't put the crown in. There we are, I've set the time. In fact, no, let's go on again, get the hands out of the way of the day of the week dial. Okay, I'm gonna stop it at five o'clock. Right, okay. So crown out all the way, press the bottom push button, set, turn the crown, set the time. Press the bottom button again, move on to the next thing to tell the watch. This is now the date of the month. We saw this hand wiggle, Turn the crown, change the day of the month. I'm going to do it once clockwise. That hand does four or five spins, date window moves on and it will stop automatically. You can go anti-clockwise. Turn the crown anti-clockwise, four or five spins, it will go back to the seventh. If you wanted to, you could do that rapid crown function again. In fact, I've already done it, I think. No, I haven't. The way you do that is you whip your finger down the crown and that should just go on and on now rather than doing it individually one at a time. Yes, it does, okay. So, if you want it to stop, turn the crown, one click, and it will stop on its next rotation. So that will stop on the 10th, or the 11th. In fact, no, it hasn't, uh, it hasn't listened to me. Turn the crown, stop on your next go. All right, thank you, the 13th, okay. Bottom button moves you on to the next thing to tell the watch. Second hand whizzes round, um, and this is actually the most technical part of the watch. This is where we need to tell the watch, is it a leap year, one year past or two years past a leap year, and what month it is, because this is setting the manual perpetual calendar. Well, you can see the second hand is pointing bang on 11 o'clock, meaning it's November and it's a leap year. If it was November and one year past a leap year, I'd turn the crown and it would go to the one dash past 11 o'clock, 11 being the 11th month of the year. Two years past a leap year in November, Three years past the leap year in November, it will skip the next dash and go on to December or 12 o'clock. Okay, so the crown will, the hand will not go 
backwards, it won't go anti-clockwise, you can only go clockwise. And we have to tell the watch that, yes, we are actually in November, and it is a leap year, so it'll go all the way around. So that, for instance, would be four o'clock, that would be April, and a leap year. April, and one year past a leap year, two years past a leap year, three years past a leap year, May, and a leap year. So let's go all the way around, put it on November. And a leap year, brilliant. One button moves me on to the final thing to tell the watch, which will be day of the week. Anti-clockwise, look, Thursday, or clockwise, Friday, Saturday, clockwise again, bring me up to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Bottom button again, back to the beginning, because the big hand wiggles, because it doesn't remember how long it's taken you to go through this process, so you may just need to adjust the time slightly. And there we are, crown in. That is how you set the time on the caliber E650, the Citizen AT408. Dash 51E Perpetual Chrono AT. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. There'll be more content coming soon.